Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm going to answer question number two from the June 2017 C1 um, International A Level Ed Excel paper. Um, this is now um, P1. Okay, this is from now P1. And here we're going to change C1 has changed to P1, Pure Mathematics 1. Um, so I'm going to answer this question. It's about differentiation. You're told that y is equal to the square root of x plus 4 over the square root of x plus 4. x is greater than 0. Find the value of dy dx when x equals 8. Write your answer in this form, a root 2, where a is a rational number. Okay, so first of all, we've got to find dy dx. We have to differentiate this um, expression. So first, we have to get it ready for differentiating by um, writing it in index form. It's right now, you have things in third form. You want to write it in index form. So you have y equals, now the square root of x is the same as x to the power of a half. And you've got f plus 4, this is before over x to the power of a half, which we want to write the terms on the numerator, so before to the, at times x to the power of negative a half. Okay, because this is x to the power of a half, you want to write it in the numerator, it will be to the power of negative a half, it's reciprocal, plus 4. Now it's ready to be differentiated, so I'm going to find dy dx, and to differentiate we can um, take each, ter each term alone, we can say, okay, differentiate x to the power of a half, multiply by the power, so it's a half times a 1, which is a half, times x to the power of, now a half minus 1 is minus a half, and then we're going to have minus a half times 4, which is minus 2, times x to the power of a minus a half. If you take away 1 from minus a half, you're going to get minus 3 over 2. And if you differentiate a constant, it becomes 0. So this is the differential. Now I'm going to make it more friendly um, for substituting values into it. So I'm not going to leave it like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write it back in third form. Okay, that will make it more, you know, friendly for substituting values in. So these are all negative powers, so I have to write them in the denominator. So this is going to be 2 times x to the power of a half, which is 2 times root x in the denominator, minus this 2 is up here, and this will be the, this is going to be the square root of x cubed. Then remember the, the power, okay, the, in the, the um, if you have an index form, the numerator of the index is the power and the denominator is the root. The minus means it's going to be written in the denominator, so reciprocal. Okay, so this is dy dx now in a form which is easy for us to substitute values in. So now we've got to find dy dx when x equals 8. So I've got to put x equals 8 into this expression here. So when x equals 8, dy dx is 1 over 2 times the square root of 8 minus 2 divided by the square root of 8 cubed. Okay, now I want to write this in the form shown here. So we have to write it in simplified third form. Now in order to do that, I've got to just write this in a, a bit of a simpler way. Now I know that the root 8, I want to write it in um, simplified third form. So I have to look for a perfect square a factor of 8, which is 4. I know 4 times 2 is 8. So I can rewrite this as 1 over 2, and I'll have the square root of 4 times 2. 8 is like 4, uh, 4 times 2. Okay, I can do the same kind of thing here. I'll have 2 over the square root of, I'll just write it like this for now, 4 times 2 um, cubed. Okay, I'm just rewriting the 8 in this form to make it easy for me to then simplify. So now, this is like 1 over, now the square root of 4 is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, so I can write this as 4 times root 2. This was 2 root 2, this would have become 2 root 2, and the 2 multiplies by the 2 gives me 1 over 4 root 2, minus, now here I've got 2 over, now this is uh, going to give me something similar, but first of all, let me just um, take this out of there, we're going to have the square root of, this is going to be the square root of 4, which is 2, so basically, I'll get the same thing. I'll get 2 times root 2 cubed. This 4 becomes, the square root of 4 becomes 2. I'm left with root 2, and I've got to cube that. So let me then simplify this. I have 1 over 4 root 2. 
Now this two cancels with, uh, no, not yet, sorry. I've got to cube that first. We're going to have minus two over. This is going to be two cubed, which is eight times, and root two cubed. Now root two cubed is going to be basically root two times root two times root two, which is two root two. So this is going to give me two times root two. So I have eight times two root root two. Okay, eight times two root two. Now what can happen is this two and the two cancel. So now I'm left with something which we can work with. We have one over four root two minus one over eight root two. And what I can do here if I can make life a bit simpler by rationalizing the denominator of each of these first. So I can multiply the top and bottom of this by root 2. And the same with this fraction. Just to rationalize the denominator, I'll have root 2 over 4 times 2, which is 8, minus, that will be root 2 over 8 times 2, which is 16. And then I can um, add these two fractions together. This is like, um, make the denominator 16, so it will be 2 root 2 over 16 minus root 2 over 16. So 2 root 2 minus 1. 1 root 2 is 1 root 2, so I'll end up with root 2 over 16. So in this form that they want it, a root 2, I can say this is like 1 over 16 times root 2. So we can say if we want a equals 1 over 16. And there we have the answer. So it's a bit of... It's a very easy question in terms of differentiating. You have to just manipulate these thirds to get the answer in this form. Okay, so in this type of question, um, in the new P1 papers, they would ask you to show your steps clearly for this section here. They wouldn't just accept you to write down the answer after this, because your calculator will do this. And this is from the old C1 papers, which were non-calculator. So you weren't allowed to take a calculator into your exam for this type of question. So you'd have to know how to do this. Um, now you still have to know how to do this, and they will expect you to show some steps. Um, they, won't, they won't accept you just write the answer down at the end of this. You put this. If you stick this into your calculator, it will give us this answer, or it should give us this answer. Okay? Um, so you have to know how to manipulate it using the rules of certs. Okay, so there we have the answer to this question, which is all about differentiation um, from the C1 June 2017 paper. Other questions from this particular paper you'll find in the playlist over here. Uh, you'll find another playlist here which will take you to differentiation from this, um, you know, from C1 or P1 now. And you'll have um, a link here to link to my channel and on the top to subscribe to my channel. And on the top of the, the screen here, you'll find a, a playlist taking you to one of the new P1 type papers. Thank you for watching and see you soon.